Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, my name's Angel and this is my shop in the Florida Keys. I'm here to service your dive gear, your tanks, your BCs, your regulators, making sure that you have no issues on your dives. Today we're going to talk about the high pressure 3500 PSI tank, which is also a 300 bar din. A lot of you may still have these. They still come into my shop. This one came in for service. It was first produced in the 1990s. Production went all the way into the early 2000s. It's no longer in production, however, there's a lot of them out there, so let's get started. This tank is a modern 3442 high pressure steel. It has a 200 bar DIN valve and it's also a convertible. You can use it as either yoke or you can use it as a DIN. If you want to use it as a DIN, all you have to do is remove the insert and convert it to a DIN simply comes out and now without the insert you have a DIN valve. If you want to use it again as a yoke all you have to do is put the insert back inside this valve and now you have a yoke style valve. Coming back to the 300 bar 3500 psi tank. This tank and valve can only be used as a DIN. It is a mandatory 300 bar. Now, a lot of people come in with this tank and they ask for the insert so they can convert it to a yoke. Unfortunately, you cannot do that with this tank. It is mandatory 300 bar DIN. Why is it mandatory? DOT says so. Anything that is 3500 or higher must be a mandatory 300 bar DIN. When comparing a 300 bar DIN to a 200 bar DIN, you can see that from the face to the back of the valve, the 300 bar DIN is larger than the 200 bar DIN. This is the reason those little inserts will not fit inside of this 300 bar DIN valve. They, they will not bottom out. This is a mandatory DIN only valve. Another noticeable difference in these valves would be the thread size. This being your 300 bar valve, and this is being your 200 bar valve. Obviously, they won't interchange. At the fill station, you can use a fill adapter, which will convert it to a yoke, so you can attach a fill whip, but you cannot dive with this adapter. Unfortunately, this insert will not fit inside and bottom out. This tank came in for hydro. Unfortunately, it has a broken valve stem. Parts are no longer made for this slanted valve. I can't replace the parts, but we can replace the valve Excess Scuba has a valve that's made specifically for these high pressure 3500 tanks. They refer to it as the 7 8 valve. Diving with DINs has its benefits. They're stronger for higher pressures and you have a better seal in your O-ring to valve connection. If you would like to convert your regulator to DIN, all manufacturers offer a DIN adapter to their model. The yoke comes off the first stage and then you take your DIN and install on your first stage and now you're ready to go with DIN. Once you have your DIN attached to your first stage and you need to go back to a yoke, you can have a DIN to yoke adapter and simply go back to yoke. If you own one of these high pressure steel tanks, you might have noticed that in the neck of the tank it is stamped E9791. That stands for Exemption 9791. This is the exemption for 9791. All exemptions or special permits expire. I'm going to do a video discussing the tanks of special permits or exemptions because they all expire. Even today's modern tanks, they all have an expiration date. Please stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, subscribe, any comments or questions, leave them down below. And again, thanks for watching.